Hello everybody, this is Kimberly Bohannon with GFYDmember.com. I'm here with my business partner, Ben Cope. How are you doing, Ben? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing great. And Ben and I have invited John Southie today and his twins. You'll hear them in the background a little bit. They're up and running around. And we are actually going to help um, John. He's going to do a case study with us. And we are going to um, take his existing uh, website and turn it over into Ben's dream theme and get him hosting with Bluehost. How are you doing today, John? I'm good. How are you? We're doing great. And I hear the boys, they're doing okay, I assume? They sure are. That sounds great. Okay, Ben, we're ready to get started, my friend, and we will let you take the lead as to what we want to do. Um, first thing that we'll do is sign up now, and I'll click that button, and then you can just point us to where we need to go. Okay, Ben? Okay, I'll All just right. walk you right through it. That sounds so great. So we're at bluehost.com, and you want to go ahead and click on sign up now. Okay. And because John already has a domain name registered, um, instead of going through the domain registration process at Bluehost, um, we're actually going to select the option that says, I already have a domain name. So in the box on the right, under I have a domain, you want to type in uh, the domain name, jbenjaminclothing.com, and click on the Next button. Got your hands full, don't you, John? A little okay, bit. Okay, now this is, this is the page where you want to go ahead and fill out the account information, uh, first name, last name, address, city, state, all of that. Not in Tennessee, you're in Texas. <laughs> Go ahead and select an account password, and this is the password that you'll actually use to log in to your Bluehost account once everything is set up. Okay. So then scroll down and select the package information, and then go ahead and select the payment information. You can either enter in a credit card number or select the option to pay with a PayPal account. Uh, John, how would you like to pay for this? With PayPal? Yes, let's do PayPal today. Okay, let's click next, right then? Right. Now it redirects you to uh, PayPal, where you'll need to go ahead and log in to your PayPal account. I cannot imagine having twins. How old are they? There'll be two in uh, two weeks. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. How about that, Ben? <laughs> wow. <laughs> We're going to send them to your house, Ben, for a weekend. <laughs> <laughs> They're they actually boys? pretty well behaved. Yes, they are boys. Yeah. Absolutely they are. Okay, and you want to change the method because right now you have it set up to something different, correct? Yes. Okay, so we'll click change to do that. Okay, and we're going to do your credit card, and you want this one, correct? That's correct. Okay, then you'll scroll down and click continue. Okay, then you want to always review your information. Isn't that correct, Ben, before you select PayPal? Right. Okay, and then you just click pay now. Yes. Well, my friend, John, you now are officially with Bluehost, and we're ready to get you moving along. Awesome. And this will be your account information. Uh, you paid with PayPal. You get uh, hosting. You get, it's only eighty three forty for the year versus you're paying, what did we just talk about the other day at uh, your other uh, place? $240 for a year. Yeah. So you, you just saved yourself some money right, <laughs> right then and there. And is that it for getting him set up for this, Ben, with Bluehost? Yep. That's all we have to do in order to uh, set up the Bluehost account. 
Um, go ahead and click on the control panel. And it should automatically lock him into the Bluehost control panel. And you can close that window out. Go ahead and, and click on Domain Manager. This is your primary account, um, John. See, the cool part is you can actually register as many domains as you want for just the cost of the domain. That's it. Click on that uh, Name Servers tab in the right-hand column and then scroll down a little bit. I don't know why I can't scroll down. Okay, so now do you see where it says because he already had a domain name registered, there are two options. We can either transfer the domain name to Bluehost or we can keep the domain name registered at its current registrar and just change the name servers to point to Bluehost. So right there in the uh, name servers box, you see what the name servers need to be changed to in order to make the website live at jbenjaminclothing.com. So make a note of those two name servers. You don't actually need the IP address. Um, all we really need is ns1.bluehost.com and ns2.bluehost.com. Okay. And that, that's easy enough to remember. So the next step is to log in to the domain registrar and John's domain happens to be registered at enom.com and we're already logged into his uh, domain control panel so under the box that says edit DNS information where it says domain name server 1 you want to type in NS1 but go ahead and delete that IP address at the end Gotcha. And then in the name server two box, type in ns2.bluehost.com. Okay. And and then click on save. Okay. Um, now, whenever you make a change to uh, the name servers or any DNS settings for a domain name, it can take. Uh, up to 24 hours for those changes to take effect Okay. Uh, because it, it actually has to propagate across the internet um, but that's all we have to do now in order to uh, take jbenjaminclothing.com and set it up on Bluehost so we've, re we've set up the hosting account and we've pointed the name servers to point to the new Bluehost account Wow, that was really easy. And you could do that with any registrar, like GoDaddy or exactly. any other place that you have. You can host with someone else, but then if GoDaddy, if you want to do a bunch, because GoDaddy does like discounts and also like for, for large groups of domains that you have registered, but you could point them simply by doing what we just did, the DNS record, to Bluehost. Is that correct? Correct. And John, was that easy? Yeah, it was very simple. Very cool. And... And so in about 24 hours, when it propagates, uh, then we will, should be able to s type in jbenjaminclothing.com, and it will point over to your domain name at uh, to Bluehost. Correct, Ben? Cor correct. Wow. And, that is really and from neat. there, we'll be able to log into the Bluehost control panel and go ahead and install WordPress and get everything set up from there. And we are going to show you that live in a webinar next week, correct? You got it. That's it. That sounds great. And is that the end of this tutorial? Yep. John, you looking forward to name? Your website look really good? Yes, absolutely. Very excited. I'm very excited. You'll be very excited with what Ben and I will be able to help you do. And we look forward to seeing you next week. Everybody take care.